Hey everyone, a while back I uh, made a pattern on the computer to put the patterns on this slab. And today, well, we're going to put the patterns on and we're going to cut it. Woohoo! I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines and also there's a chicken. Hey everyone, this is Clayton, and like I said, a while back I made a pattern on the computer, and you can check the video out earlier, where you can, you know, take a picture of your slabs and then cut the uh, patterns out however you want it, and, well, here it is. So today, I'm actually gonna, you know, put the pattern on here and cut the thing out. So, first thing we're gonna do is straighten out my pattern, because it got knocked down on the floor and got gnarlied up. So this shouldn't be that difficult. It's nice when you have reference points. And we already got the one on there and oh, I don't have the thing open. Okay, so I'll line this up. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. And Yes, we'll mark the pattern out. And I put on the other video that if you do this with heavier paper, it is a lot more convenient. <laughs> you know, not, not something heavy as cardstock, although you can use it. I mean, cardstock works great because it's nice and heavy. And the one nice thing about if you do do it with cardstock, you can keep those patterns and you have a great big selection after a while of different sized ovals or shapes or whatever and you can put that you know use that if you just need to you know what I mean you have a big selection of patterns then huh. ones you won't have to do on a computer so here we go so what I'm gonna do I'm going to cut these out, and, like, here's my point. I'm going to cut across there, and then cut across there to separate these two, and then slice this one right down the center. Boom, boom, boom. And then trim these up. So I'm not going to show all that, because that's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to go over onto the saw, and I'm going to cut this out, and I shall be right back with a bunch of slabs ready to dop. Okay? Hold on. Okie dokie, I'm back, and I had to change the blade on the saw because it is going completely pleh. If anybody knows what pleh means, you'll understand. Now here's our three slabs. Now I'm going to take this, before I dop these, I'm going to take these over in the wheel and I'm going to work these edges round, or down to the, uh, down to the, uh, you know what I mean, down to my marks. And then I shall be right back and we will dop these. Don't go away. Whew. Okay, I'm back. And boy, I tell you what, this is some of the hardest Jasper I've ever cut. It's got the browns actually fairly soft, but this blue, blue sky looking stuff. That's hard. <sighs> so, the next step is. Uh, yeah, the next step is I'm going to have to get some dopping done. And I hope I have some dop sticks here. This ooh, this should be about the right size for this baby. Yep. Oh, wait, no. I think this one will be good for that. And this one will be good for that one. Somebody wants me. And I'll need another one for that one. You tell me I don't have any dop sticks. Okay, I got lots of dop sticks, but I don't have a lot of them ready. Well, I'll get some ready here. Not melting the camera. Okay, always my biggest thing. I always melt the melt the phone. 
It's like that's you know that's not a good thing. I already have enough trouble with phones as it is. Or the trouble is, the phones that I got don't work. I don't feel like ranting on that again because that was enough rant. Oh, that's this one. Get this wax somewhat set. I'm gonna need more wax. Need more wax on all of them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get these dopped and I'll come back when it's ready. Yeah. Okie dokie. That took a little longer than I expected. I had to change the metal piece because this thing was wax was sticking to it all over the place. So I got the three of these dopped. And whew. Well, it's done. Even though it was a little bit more than I expected. Hopefully there's enough wax to hold these babies on. So the next thing will be over onto the end of the wheel and start shaping them up. And this could take a while. So follow me to the wheel and let's see what kind of a wow it is. Okay, I'm back, and if you have followed me to the wheel, you will realize that I didn't hit the record button. Yeah, I'm an idiot. But, anyway, well, it's almost good I didn't because it took me quite a long time to do this stone. My 320 grit, 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 my 320 grit centered wheel does a really fine job but for some of these harder pieces like this or the larger pieces it takes a long time to get down to where I need to be so now that I got this on well cabbed up on both the wheels on the grinder over there let's take a look at it now if you remember this is picture Jasper and I've actually got a decent dome on here um, it's a long stone, you know, this way. How long is it? Let's get the calipers of destiny out here. It's like an inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter long. So that is pretty big, about five eighths thick. Um, if you notice, not to change subject, but I got a different cloth to shoot on. And it's changed to use and the density of the color of my hands and things too. Everything looks a little bit richer. I'll be comparing it with the other ones. And, you know, give me some feedback on there. That would be, that would be helpful. So here's what, as I was saying, here's what we got. I mean, it doesn't look bad. This is the top part of this stone where there was some flaws. There's a little bit of a crack here let's see if it'll how close we can focus oh yeah we can get that close you see there's a bit of a a divot in there and a slight one around the side and there's a lot of check cracks all through here but oh no that's a pretty decent piece of jasper and all we got to do is go to the 1200 grit and then it's the cerium oxide with that one, and then we'll be ready. And then we have these other two here. Okay, I was going to record me doing these on the wheel, but because of all well, that lucky little forgetting to hit the record button, man, that I, I, aggravates me when I do that. I don't think I'm going to do that with these because it is going to be a long, long process, much longer than I want to actually just film so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do these up and then when they're to this point we'll come back hit them with the 2000 grit and the cerium oxide because that won't take very long okay so the next time you see me these two will be like this well not the same size but finish to that point. You know what I'm talking about. Gosh.
All right, I'm back, and as you can see, there's a different background. Ooh, because it's like several months later. Yeah, I kept putting this off until I actually got some good wheels. Well, I got the new machine set up because this stuff was so difficult to get through. And as you remember from, well, a few seconds ago, <clears throat> we had done this one. Okay, this is the long, skinny one. And then we had these two that we were going to do. I said I'd come back when they were to the 1200 grits gauge. Well, trying out the new wheel, I tried this. I did this one. And it actually came out fairly good. Yes, I was pleased. And it did not take me forever to do it. And I had worked on this one with the old wheel. And as you see, I didn't get very far at all. Where's the focus at? So I'm going to take this over onto... I wanted to show you at least cutting one. So I'll uh, take this one over. And let's just get over there. So let's get some water going here. Hello, water. Oh, no. Where's the water? Oh, there's the water. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful on this one because, like I said, this wheel... There's the gobbledygook out of everything. So I'm going to work this side just a hair. You know, because we don't want all the gobbledygook pour out of it. And it actually does chip, chip up the sides, so I've got to be somewhat careful how I do this. Sorry about the volume of the loudness. I may just cut the volume down and get some nice music while I get this cut down. Sound like a winner? Dear God, that is loud. It's even loud for me. Let's take a look. It's coming along fairly nice. Still got a flat top on there. But we shall adjust that. So back to the noise. Okay, so it's actually got a nice dome one there. And so we can stop the noisy wheel. <laughs> Slide on over here. And get to the less noisy wheel. So let's get some water going on the less noisy wheel. Looks about right. <clears throat> okay. It is a lot easier when the stuff's on a dock stick. I do have to admit that. 
The thing I don't like about this one is I have that uh, crappy thing right there that I did not allow for when I did the size. The edge is not torn up so bad this time. Make sure I get all the cut marks off the edge. <clears throat> okay, now I can start working the entire stone face. <clears throat> I know a lot of people have expressed that they like seeing the whole process. So I'm going to try to show as much as I can without it being so boring. And even though this is fast, it's like I don't want to make a an hour long video just to see the stone. Well, if you want to see it, that's great, but I just don't want people to get bored. I'll do some that are longer, I'll do some that are shorter. I'll give you a variety. Just some people don't want to see all that, then other people do. Okay, let me see if I got all the cut marks out of here, or most of them. It's hard to find a dry spot here to dry off. There it is. Seems like there is a slight flatter spot on the top with a lot of cut marks. So yeah, I'm going to have to do some serious top rounding here. Top round, that's not like beach or anything either. And it's a big, a wider cab like this that takes a while to get that top edge not flat. Not flat and the gnarly's all out of it. As you can see there's some gnarlies in there yet, but it's coming along fairly well. It's a shame it took so long to get these cabs done. I'm making these making these for my cousin. She got a whole bunch of slabs and whatnot she wants cut up. And I'm like, yeah, send them here, I'll cut them up. We'll make videos of it, that'll be great. And I'm like, well, some of this is so hard, I can't do it with what I have, so let me get the new wheel set up and we'll get it back to you. And she'll be happy. And if you're watching, I hope, I'm hoping to get these out as quick as possible now that everything is working smooth. So these will probably be on her Etsy site. So I'll send, I'll put a link on the, on the video for her Etsy if you're interested in some of these, <coughs> any of these picture jaspers. <coughs> she'll, she'll wrap these and she does some really, really nice stuff. So... So look her up. You'll not be disappointed. It seems to be working a lot better with a stone on a stick. It'd be nice if I could get away with not dopping these things, but I don't think it's going to happen in most instances. Yep, I think we can go to 1,200 now. Give me some of this junk I got on here. Toothbrush of Dustiny. Dustiny? Get it? Dustiny? <sighs> yeah, I need to get out more. This one might be a little bit loud, too. No, it's not too bad. That first wheel with this large cab on there just echoed. Wow, it was nasty. Hmm, that's looking pretty nice. See how the edges... Edges seem to be... looking good too. Like 
move it quick. That's the key. Don't let no... Don't let no... I can't think of what I'm trying to say. That, don't let no diamonds go and make a bad groove in there by holding it at the same spot. Okay, now we'll move over to the... <clears throat> 1200. Hello, water. Okay. This one's even a little bit more loud compared to the, the 600. A little bit too much water there. Well, that helped. Maybe it didn't. Okay, I believe, I believe we're done. So let's head over to there. Ah, let's head over to there. And take a look at it. Alrighty, we are over there again. Let me get all this dried off and oh, these rags that just don't dry. It's insane. Totally flippin' insane. Alrighty, here is what we have. We have colors bleaching, bleaching out everything. See, that's not too bad. I can tell a difference when I work a stone on here as to when I work it by hand. Because on this stage, I can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of faceting going on. Just a slight bit, but I do not get that when I'm working them by hand. And... That's just with 1,200. You can compare these. Huh. I mean, these have been hit with cerium oxide, and this has been just 1,200. It's polishing up really nice. But I was saying, when I'm working it on this by hand, I can, the padded surface makes it nice and rounded, and I get rid of the facets better. So let's take this over on the cerium oxide and see if, let's see what it looks like then. Be right back. Okay, we're back, and I gave them all a quick hit on the cerium oxide again, just just because we can, and why not? You know, I like that. I like that term. And why not? <laughs> so let's pull up my sleeves here, cause my sleeves keep falling down. Let's take a look at all of these boogers again. So we got this one. This was the first one. And I think it really needed that extra hit on the cerium oxide. That turned out really nice. And here's the medium sized one. And it needs wiped off a little bit there. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. You see that one turned out fairly nice too. A little bit of cracks in there, but those are natural cracks that don't seem to take away from it as far as I'm concerned. And here's Mr. Big, which needs wiped off, too. <laughs> and it made it wet. Ah! <sighs> dry, dry, dry! There we go. That polished up actually pretty darn nicely. The edges are pretty good. Just don't like this. I'll have to make sure... <sighs> make sure what's on the back of these from now on. I guess I could have... I guess I could have made... Oh, my gosh! I guess I could have made it a little smaller. That would have taken care of that. But let's see, how are these all going to go? Probably like that. Well, who knows? Now, let me get these off of here once. We'll do the do not do this at home method. Let 
If anybody's watching this and going, oh my God, what is he doing? Yeah, pretty much that's what I say to myself too. Because I like to get myself frozen to the... Ooh, that's not coming off. No, that one come off. Oh. That one came off, sort of. Oh, why is this one not wanting to come off? Because it hates me. Okay. Uh, let me clean this. Okay. They're cleaned off. And I still have all my fingers. So, let's get a better look. We've got this little bugger. Got this medium one, which is still cruddy. And the smaller one. How that one will be going, whether this way or this way, we don't know. But all in all, I would say that these here Picture Jasper cabs are a win. So if you liked the video, you know, like, subscribe, hit the button down there, ring the bell, and then you'll see me doing more of this. And thanks for spending some time with me. Don't try this at home. And have a good evening.